Well, welcome back there, Jobs as I, Captain Stephen Exo, and yes, the morning has become, and yes, we are about to take off in our beautiful ship that is now all fixed. Awesome. So let's jump on in and let's do a pre-flight check. Nope, we're just going to take off. Heck yes, we're in the sky. Freaking awesome. And now we're going to take ourselves up into space. Let's go, let's go. Oh, we're out of the atmosphere, chums. Oh, this little ship is holding together quite nicely. You know, I've only just put the flames out and now I'm flying the thing. I must be insane. Right, okay, here we are. We're out inside the nebula. Very cool. And we're doing some pre-flight checks. So I'm just checking my boosters are all operational and sound. One more test to be had. Be got. Nice one. Let's shoot that rock. Take that rock. Yeah. Just sitting there minding your own business. And you, and you! Oh, uh, okay. I've got an incoming transmission. I shall stop killing rocks. Okay. Incoming mission. Incoming transmission. Awesome. Okay. Identify your... That's a bit rude. You know, you're trying to contact me. That's a little bit... Fair enough. All right, fine. Right. Okay. What the fudge? Okay, this um, ship's sort of radio seems to be a bit knackered. Either that, or the person sending me the transmission is a bit stuck at, stuck at. Righto! Okay, well, we've got ourselves a new coordinate to go to. Right, so let's um, find that. And let's go! Over there! Pronto! Nickety split! Hiya! Right, so, yeah, Exo, you may want to speed this little bit of footage up, my little robotic -y friend! Sweet, magical, and fantastic, and I see you guys at the planet! Right, well, here we are. We're locking onto this signal. We're heading down. That's... Yeah, no, I, I thought it would be a signal from the Atlas, but it, it really wasn't. Yeah, excellent. What do you make of this signal? Captain Steve, all I can tell you is the origin is not of that of the Atlas. I believe this to be another traveller. Okay, another traveller, you say. Nice. Well, hopefully we can make ourselves a newfound friend and chum in this verse. Because, yeah, I, I'm a little bit miffed as to how I even got here or why I'm here. But, you know, I may as well just go along with it now that I'm here, mightn't I? Right, okay. Well, what a cool planet, this one. Oh, dear. Ha <laughs> ha. Nice. I'm loving all these glowing shrooms. Yeah, in my old days, I probably would have tried munching some of these just to see what ha what actually happens. But some of them is are leaking spores into the night sky. It's freaking wondrous. Anyway, let's um hack into this broken piece of damaged machine array. Hello there, machine array. Decipher signal. Yeah, I'm good at this electronic stuff. Never done a course in it, but there we are. Decoding. I guess that's the um, benefit of having an AI plugged into your shoulder. Fantastic. We've got to sell some numbers there. Yeah, 16, 16, 16. This has got to mean something at some stage. And uh, yeah, we've got ourselves a little broken transmission. It almost feels like the same person that lay left me the ingredients for the hermetic seal has left me pl other plans. Well, this is this is nice, but it does feel like I'm now walking the pathway of somebody else. Is this message that I'm getting from this other traveller, this traveller that's been helping me? Well, we can only but hope. Anyway, base computer gained. Train manipulator. Fantastic. I can manipulate the terrain. Frickin' mind-blowing stuff. Now, these are newfangled toys that I need to install. Okay, right, so let's have a quick look, see if I can install these new toys right now. Right, okay, train manipulator, I want this thing. Right, I know how to craft both of those, and I think I might have the ingredients to do that right now on the fly. So here we go, let's go pop into there. Dehydrogen jelly, and uh, two of these. Oh, I've already got one in my inventory, so I might be okay, actually. I uh, don't know why another square is flashing now, but I'm going to stick with the square that I put down. Lovely. Fantastic. And my terrain manipulator is fixed Excellent. Right, I don't know whether I want to try this so close to where I've just laid my ship. Ooh, things to scan. Lots of new creatures and things, of course. Yeah, I can scan all this and I can gain units. Yeah, so let's uh, scan one of these flying sort of eel-type creatures. Hello there, my flying friend. How are you? Whoa, that is a big creature, and I just got 3,000 units for scanning him. Awesome. Well, I'm going to go scan a load of stuff, and uh, I'll be right back with you guys in a bit after I finish scanning. Heck yes. Brilliant. Righto. So here I am. I'm heading towards a copper deposit now, chums, because I've got my terrain manipulator installed. I should be able to dig this stuff up. Lovely. Get into my pocket, you copper. Yeah, so over in um, the UK, we would call police officers coppers. So it's a little bit of a strange one, or even our coins. We call them coppers as well. You know, pennies and coppers, but there we are. Uh, copper has got multiple meanings. Heck yes, beautiful word. 
but in this case I'm just going to dig the stuff out of the ground it goes into my magical vacuum cleaner of a multi-tool and gets stored somewhere in my backpack I mean look at the size of this landmass I just took out this landmass and somehow this TARDIS of a backpack has rendered it safe to carry and you'd think it'd weigh a freaking ton wouldn't you I think this um, exosuit of mine defies the laws of physics which is proper handy otherwise I'd be proper buried and dead right now but there we go I'm gonna dig myself a little hole here because you can see my hazard protection is it's dropping it's dropping relatively fast oh that's that's odd it's not going back up I wonder why hmm how bizarre before when I first crash landed on this planet or you know when I first appeared on this planet without a freaking ship I just hid under a little lip and I was fine but this is a bit odd I might as well top, top that up then I guess brilliant there we go cured Let's just go see if that storm is still out there. It's not, but you know, another one could come back. And I've got to craft myself a load of chromatic metal. So you know what, I'm going to jump back in this little hole. And I'm going to put my little, my little refiner in said hole. Heck yes, there we go. I'm not stupid, no flies on me. Nice one. Let's go in here and let's craft ourselves some of that chromatic metal. Sounds lovely, doesn't it? Chromatic. Rolls off the tongue, that word. Fantastic. Model. Right, so I've fueled it. Now what I need to do is find myself the ferrite. I've, no, not the ferrite. I need to put the copper in, don't I? Copper. Right, where's the copper? It's somewhere in this freaking menu. There it is. Right, oh, shall I put it in the full stack? I may as well. I may as well. Let's just stick it in. I can always dig up more. And let's um, bejazzle that into chromatic metal. And it's on its way. Now I could sing myself a little song here, couldn't I? You know what? Hi ho, hi ho, it's after work we go. Rolum tum dee dum dum hi ho, hi ho, hi ho, hi ho. Excellent. I hope you like that little rendition of hi ho. Yeah, I don't even know if that's a real word. I mean a real song. But you guys out there, yeah, please leave comments and stuff if you like my singing, that'd be lovely. Righto, and we're back at base. So no, well, I say base. I'm back at where I want my base. Here we go. This is this is going to help us get the base. Right oh, so here we are. Cartography maps. No, it's not even that, is it? Claim base. Pow pow. And we have ourselves an out of body experience yet again. Fantastic. And yeah, I guess this is going to be my home for a little while. I do love this planet at night time though. It's bioluminescence and the way the little shrooms sort of put spores into the air is fantastic. And look, I've got myself a save point. Lovely. I wonder if I get the navigational data from hitting that up. I do! Fantastic! And I'm going to have these cubes as well. Because, you know, why not? They're there in the landscape. Vortex cube. That, I don't know whether I want a vortex cube sitting around in my backpack. If that opens up a vortex and I end up in some gnarly, crazy, hellish type world, I would not be happy. Righto! What have we got in here? Gecknip. That sounds like contraband if I ever did hear of anything called gecknip. That's not good. You know, you've got catnip that attracts cats. What the fudge is a geck when it's at home? I guess we will find out. Anyway, there we go. Freebies. Everyone likes a freebie. Go, freebie, go. Right, OK, so here we go. Let's interact with the old base computer yard and see what it's got for me now. Accessing log of previous user. You do realise I put this down. This is mine. I don't want no second-hand frickin' base. What the, what, the, what the fudge is going on? All right, OK, fair enough. I got extra free stuff. Free stuff is frickin' good. Okay, I can now build walls, and I can build floors, I can build myself a little house. Lovely. I say house, it's probably going to look like a shed, because all these parts are all out of wood. That other base we just saw a picture of is a right little tease. Man, I wish I could build metal. Heck yes, that'd be awesome. I guess that's that's the future of things. Righto, well we'll just get on with this prefab then. Here we go, I'm going to put down my IKEA base. Well, there we have it chums I think Exo read my mind because he played a nice little ditty and he sped up the footage for thee which is super damn fragilistic expialidocious right so what have we got here salvage data subterranean device what huh I guess it'll make sense in a moment 
Okay, right. so brilliant. Yeah, I've got some sort of little helper. Hopefully it's this guy that we're going to try and help with through these um, distress signals we're getting. But I can now put down some sort of blueprint, sort of printing device. So um, let me put down my personal refiner. Let's just get that out of my inventory space, free up a slot. Fantastic, I can keep that here now. It just means that if I find anything I want to refine on my travels, I may have to bring it back to base. I can live with that. Okay, so let's start something refining anyway. Let's get this pure ferrite on the go. Lovely, done. Sped that up for you as well. Thanking you, Mr. XO. Right, and let's put down this little blueprint analyzer. It looks like a little droid. I'm loving the little feet on it. Oh, hello. There you go. You look more friendly than XO. You really do. Okay, so here we are. Excellent day. And what's this? Research buildable technologies. Oh, is that a base teleport? I've, I can build a base teleporter. Freaking ace! Heck yes, that's going to be done. But I think I've got to go dig up some sort of like um, blueprints first, by the looks of things. I've got to look for that icon. There it is over there. Right, so I'm going to head on over there. I'm going to go grab that chum. So here I go on another mini adventure. Kapow! Straight into a cactus. Great. Freaking adventure of diverted. Right, well, we've got ourselves some navigational data. This is cool. Finding them on stacks just out in the wild like this. That's pretty awesome. Well, I, I'm hoping I can do something awesome with those. Right, so let's head on over. Let's uh, grab myself a little yellow plant. Yes, I am still collecting yellow plants, chums, because the hazard protection does need topping up quite regularly. But now I can go back to my base and to my ship and automatically get all my hazard protection back, which is nice. This barrier tech isn't so buried. It's, it's slightly out of the ground. Kapow! Just a little punch. Got. Lovely. That's mine. Right. Well, I think I need to get a fair few of these. So I'll be right back with you guys once I've got a load. So don't you guys go away. I'll be right back with you. Heck yes. See you in a sec for the power of editing. Righto. Back at base, construction computer. Hello there, and my little base computery type dude. Right, so let's um, let's see if we can get this teleporter. I can indeedy doody. Fantastic mondo. Okay, more carbon nanotubes, more metal plating. Well, I'm gonna like the uh, more metal plating. Fudge, this is a lot of rocks. I'm gonna go and have to have to smash. Now I have found that if my multi tool is low on juice, I can just punch the rocks and I can just punch the trees. So I may just have to go and do a load of ninjutsu on the local sort of like uh, minerals and uh, flora. But yeah, you know it's all it's all kung fu training, and you know I'm I'm like a ninja, so it's. I don't really need the training because, yeah, like I say, I, I, I'm like the Karate Kid times 100. But there, you go, yeah, I, I'd have to go get all the stuff, and then I'd be right back with you once I've managed to gain it all. So my inventory is pretty darn chock a block. What do I get rid of? I can put some of this in there. Hmm, that did hardly anything. I don't really want to get rid of my Gecknip because that could be okay. Let's get rid of the meaty chunks. I can't imagine I'm going to be using those for anything for a while. What about the salt? I've only got like two salt. Oh, I could have put that on the meaty chunks. It might have tasted delicious. Okay. All right. Well, let's, um, let's reconvene anyway. So I've got all the stuff now, chums. And now I should be able to put down my little um, Wavy Davy. There we go. The teleporter Wavy Davy. <laughs> That'd be a better name for it. It really would. Okay. Let's see if we can put down the power supplies. Nice. Ah, uh, did, did I just read that right? I need to... Oh, hold on, it's, it's gone back off my menu. What the fudge? I need another metal plating. Of course I do. Heck yes, there was built a metal plating. Kapow! Metal plating done. Down you go. And let's just see if we can get a cable on this. Excellent! Kapow! Again, I am not an electrician. I am not Corgi registered. I doubt that that would actually pass a certificate test. But we'll give it a go. It's more of a trip hazard though, isn't it? They're having a wire across the freaking floor like that. Well, let's stick that in there. Chicka poom poom and chicka pow pow. We have power. Let's go into face of it. Where are you going to take me, teleporter? Ah, I guess I need to visit places first before they actually appear on this list. That makes sense. Right, well, I just wasted a load of freaking carbon power in that thing up. Great. I'm glad I um, reduced the stack to half, or else that would have been a real waste. I just walked into the freaking wall. Nice. Okay, well, yeah, the torch. You could have turned it on beforehand, Exo. Freaking awesome. Nice one. Cheers, buddy. Captain Steve, I am an artificial intelligence. I cannot predict when you're going to walk into a wall. Well, okay, Exo, fair point, I suppose. Right, anyway, let's interact with this. I, I don't worry about my bruised face later. Right, so here we go. Interact to Mondo. Warning, end of archive. Well, I don't see why that needs to have a warning attached to it. You know, that, that's, that's probably a good thing, isn't it? Right, I've got to head up to the space station. The space station! 
Right, well I don't think I saw that, that I was passing by in space earlier, but I guess we'll go search for it. Exo, do, do you have it logged into your map at all, at anywhere, shape or form? From my logs, I can see that every system has a space station, apart from those where data is unavailable or are unmanned. Well, chums, it looks like next episode you will see us guys flying up to the space station. So don't you guys miss that exciting episode, and I'll see you soon. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again. And I want to say a massive great big thank you to everybody that's watching, and please hit that notification bell. I want to say a massive great big thank you to everybody over on Patreon. Thank you, Patreons! And yes, I also want to thank everybody on YouTube membership. You get awesome emojis for the live chat. Heck yes. If you wish to back my channel in another way, you can always grab yourself some fine and dandy merch over on the merch store, or I have 3D printed items on my eBay store, or just get one of these tiles on this screen here and stay with Captain Steve that little bit longer.